What's up guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the none less than the Range Pod Smart, Joby Range Pod Smart and the Grill Pod 3K. So, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first one I'll be reviewing is the Grill Pod 3K. Okay, the first thing we got is this thing and the instructions. This looks pretty nice. Whoops. It's even got a level here. If you can see that. Okay, this appears to be like an iPhone um, holder, so we can just screw it onto this. Okay, now that it's screwed on, it's all set up, so it's pretty simple to set up. And we got these nice legs, they're pretty sturdy, like, they're nice and stiff, so you can probably mount it onto something like, if you can see this box. See, it mounts onto this box pretty nicely. Looks like it won't break easily. Here are the legs. I really like it. And you can just like easily loosen and tighten with this knob right here to make this tighter or looser so that your camera doesn't move when it's upright. And then this thing can, um, from the back, you have this thing. It's like a lever, I think. Okay, finally got it up. So it just like unclips like this and then you can loosen and tighten the camera part of it. There's a spring in there. So it should be able to hold stuff pretty well, nicely, like a phone. And then you just simply snap it back and when your phone's in there and you got it. This is my first like one of these kinds of tripods so, and I actually really like it so far. So let's just unbox the other one now. Okay, just opening it from the box. First thing we notice is it comes in a nice bag. And it's definitely heavier than the last one. This one being pretty light. We got a box with some screws in it or something. Look at this thing. This is so nice. Okay, what's in this box? We got an iPhone or a phone grip thing. Something like a shirking, I don't know. And directions in the screw. No, I'm not reading these. You know what, I, I actually should probably read them. I'll let you know when I finish reading these instructions. Finally set it up. So I just set up the top, like it's the same as last time. Like if you tighten it and loosen this, it gets tighter like a normal tripod. We got this nice little leveling. It's also on the grill of pod. It's pretty hard to see, but it's right around. See those little lines on the tripod but on this one it's it, this one's even better we got numbers everywhere like around the sides they're just right here where my finger was it's really nice material what it's made of it's like really slick and you can just like simply just screw it and loosen these things to make the legs longer and then tighten them and now we got our nice tripod right here it's about like six feet tall almost it's about as tall as me, and I'm 5'10". And this thing actually is extremely nice, like I said before. It's also got a level here, as you can see. And the legs fold up pretty nicely. Let me show you. If you just loosen these like you did before, then it should go in like this. And you can just do this for all of them. And it just folds up pretty well, like, like so. And then you just fold these up like this. Which is actually really nice since it's not like just a tripod that you just put all the legs down like this and then you just carry it around like this or whatever. But for this one, they just go up like this and they're all in a line like so. And so yeah, it's about four pounds. It's a really nice tripod, I have to say. Both of these tripods are actually really nice. I would definitely recommend both of them even though I haven't had many tripods in my YouTube career yet. But yeah, and this one's pretty nice because it's tall. This one's pretty good because it's portable and good for vlogging and lightweight. It's like less than a pound, I'd say. This one also comes with a bag here. They're both pretty expensive, but they're not like out of range budget for like a good tripod. These are worth their value. I recommend them. So yeah, like and subscribe. Hope you got something from this. This is my first impressions on both of these. So yeah. Thanks for watching and waggle out.